Welcome to Crypto Journal. If you find value in this analysis, hit that like button and drop a comment, letting me know if you want more content connecting AI infrastructure developments to blockchain payment protocols. On October 28th, 2025, OpenAI announced Instant Checkout in ChatGPT, powered by the agentic commerce protocol they co-developed with Stripe. 700 million people use ChatGPT weekly, and now they can buy products directly in chat from Etsy and over 1 million Shopify merchants. The press release described agentic commerce, where AI agents don't just help you find products, they help you buy them. But here's what the announcement carefully avoided discussing. The agentic commerce protocol uses Stripe's centralized payment rails with shared payment tokens controlled by OpenAI and Stripe. Every transaction flows through their infrastructure. Users can only shop with merchants integrated into their closed ecosystem. And critically, the entire system is built on traditional credit card rails that charge 2 to 3% fees, making true micropayments economically impossible. Meanwhile, there's a blockchain protocol that has been enabling true micropayments with near zero cost since 2021 continuous payment streaming that processes second-by-second -second transactions without intermediaries, stablecoin settlement that eliminates credit card fees entirely, and programmable money flows that AI agents can execute autonomously without human intermediation for every transaction. Stick around because at the 24 minute mark, I'm going to explain exactly why the AI economy that OpenAI is building fundamentally requires token-based micropayment infrastructure like ZBEC, and why Stripe's centralized rails are a temporary solution that will be replaced by blockchain settlement as AI agent commerce scales. Let me start by explaining what the AI economy actually means and why it creates unprecedented demand for micropayment infrastructure. The AI economy is an emerging system where AI agents operate as autonomous economic actors, not just executing transactions on behalf of humans, but making independent decisions, negotiating terms, and transacting with other AI agents and services. This is fundamentally different from current e-commerce. When you buy something on Amazon today, you're the economic actor making decisions. A, I might help with recommendations, but you you click buy. In the AI economy, you delegate purchasing authority to AI agents. You tell ChatGPT, find me the best running shoes under $150 with good arch support and buy them. The AI agent searches across merchants, negotiates prices, verifies quality through reviews and data analysis, selects the optimal option, and executes the purchase. You approve the final decision, but the AI did the work. Now, scale this beyond shopping. AI agents managing your subscription services, automatically switching providers when better deals emerge. AI agents handling business procurement, sourcing supplies from global suppliers with automated price negotiations. AI content generators paying other AI services for stock images, music licensing, or data access. AI research assistants micropaying scientific databases for paper access. AI trading bots executing thousands of micro arbitrage transactions per second. Every interaction in the AI economy potentially involves a payment. And these payments are fundamentally different from traditional transactions. They're high velocity, high volume, low value per transaction, conditional based on outcomes, composable across multiple services, and cosmopolitan meaning borderless and instant. This is what researchers call three V3C payments. Velocity, volume, value, conditional, composable, cosmopolitan. Traditional payment infrastructure can't handle three V3C characteristics efficiently. Credit cards charge fixed fees plus percentages. A three cent payment costs more in fees than the payment itself. Banks process payments in batches with settlement delays. AI agents need instant confirmation. Centralized systems require accounts and authentication. AI agents need permissionless access to transact globally. This is exactly why token-based micropayment infrastructure is essential for the AI economy. And this is where ZBEC fits perfectly. If you're still with me, comment 3v3c payments. I want to see who understands that AI commerce requires fundamentally different payment architecture than traditional e-commerce. Now let me show you the specific limitations of OpenAI's agentic commerce protocol and why it's a temporary solution. OpenAI and Stripe built ACP to enable commerce in ChatGPT quickly using existing infrastructure. This makes sense for rapid deployment. Stripe already processes payments for millions of merchants. Credit card rails are familiar to consumers. Regulatory compliance is well understood, but ACP has fundamental constraints that prevent it from scaling to true AI economy requirements. Constraint one, centralized control. Every transaction flows through OpenAI and Stripe infrastructure. Merchants must integrate with their specific API 
APIs. Users can only shop with approved merchants. AI agents can't autonomously discover and transact with new services. They're locked into a walled garden. This is the exact opposite of permissionless blockchain infrastructure where any entity can transact with any other entity without gatekeepers. Constraint two, credit card economics. Stripe charges merchants approximately 2.9% plus 30 cents per transaction. For a $20 purchase, that's 88 cents in fees. For microtransactions, the economics completely break down. A $1 payment costs 49 cents in fees. A 10 cent payment would cost 40 cents in fees. Micropayments become impossible, but AI economy transactions will be increasingly micro. An AI agent paying two cents to access a database query, five cents for AI generated image usage, 10 cents for processing a single document. Credit card rails can't support this. Constraint three, Batch settlement and latency. Credit card transactions settle in days, not seconds. Merchants receive payment after batch processing through acquiring banks. For AI agents executing thousands of conditional transactions, this latency is unacceptable. The agent needs instant confirmation that payment succeeded before proceeding to the next step in a workflow. Constraint four, programmability limitations. ACP uses shared payment tokens, which are single use credentials representing a user's credit card. But these tokens are not programmable money. You can't encode conditions like pay only if service delivers expected quality. You can't create payment streams that adjust based on usage. You can't build complex escrow logic. Traditional payment tokens are dumb. Blockchain-based smart contracts are programmable, enabling the conditional and composable characteristics AI agents need. In constraint five, geographic and regulatory friction. Credit cards work differently across countries. Currency conversion adds costs. Regulatory compliance varies by jurisdiction. AI agents operating globally need borderless payment rails that work identically everywhere. Stable coins like USDC provide this. Credit cards don't. OpenAI and Stripe's solution is pragmatic for 2025, but it's not scalable for the 2030 AI economy. As AI agent commerce grows from millions to billions of transactions daily, the infrastructure will need to migrate to blockchain-based token micropayments. And that's where ZBEX architecture becomes critical. Comment credit card rails can't scale micropayments if you're recognizing that ACP is phase one infrastructure that will be replaced by blockchain. Let me explain specifically why ZBEX continuous settlement architecture is ideal for AI agent micropayments. ZBEX doesn't process discrete transactions. It streams payments continuously. Money flows second by second. For AI agents, this is transformative. Imagine an AI agent using a cloud computing service. Instead of paying hourly or daily, the agent streams payment continuously as computing resources are consumed. If the service degrades, the stream stops instantly. If usage increases, the stream rate adjusts automatically. This real-time payment matching real-time value delivery is impossible with traditional payments, but native to ZBEC architecture. Transaction costs on ZBEC are near zero, measured in fractions of a cent. An AI agent can execute thousands of micropayments daily without meaningful cost accumulation. Paying two cents for a database query, five cents for an AI model inference, 10 cents for content licensing. These microtransactions become economically viable because ZBEC doesn't charge fixed fees or percentages that make small payments prohibitive. ZBEC operates 24 seven without intermediaries. AI agents transacting with services globally don't need human approval or banking hours. Payments settle instantly via smart contracts on blockchain. The AI agent calls a smart contract function, payment streams, service activates, no Stripe involved, no open AI gatekeeping, permissionless commerce. ZBEC integrates with Circle's USDC, the most trusted institutional stablecoin. AI agents transact in stable dollar denominated value without cryptocurrency volatility. Recipients can hold USDC, convert to local currency, or spend via ZBEC cards accepted globally. The stablecoin layer eliminates foreign exchange friction that plagues international credit card transactions. And critically, ZBEC's payment streams are programmable via smart contracts. An AI agent can encode conditions into payment logic, stream payment only if API returns valid data, adjust payment rate based on service quality metrics, create escrow where payment releases after delivery confirmation, build complex multi-party payment flows where value splits automatically among contributors. This programmability is essential for the conditional and composable characteristics of AI economy transactions. Every limitation of OpenAI's ACP, ZBEC solves. Decentralized and permissionless instead of centralized. 
Near zero costs instead of percentage fees. Instant settlement instead of batch processing. Programmable instead of dumb tokens. Global and borderless instead of geo-restricted. This is why Zbeck type infrastructure is inevitable for AI economy scaling. Now let me show you the specific AI economy use cases where Zbeck enables commerce that ACP can't support. Use case one, AI to AI service payments. Two AI agents transacting with each other. Agent A needs data processing from agent B. Agent A streams micropayments to agent B continuously during processing. If processing fails, the stream stops. No chargebacks, no disputes, just programmatic payment matching programmatic value delivery. This requires permissionless blockchain infrastructure. ACP can't support AI to AI transactions because both agents would need Stripe merchant accounts and open AI integration. Absurd. Use case two, content licensing micropayments. An AI content generator needs stock photos, music clips, and data visualizations for a presentation it's creating. Instead of bulk licensing agreements, the AI agent micropays individual creators for each asset used. Three cents for a photo, five cents for a music clip, two cents for a chart. Thousands of these microtransactions happen automatically as the AI assembles content. Zbeck enables this. Credit cards make it economically impossible. Use case three, API access micropayments. AI developers running inference on large language models pay per token processed. Instead of monthly subscriptions that might be wasteful or per transaction fees that add up, they stream payment continuously based on exact usage. This aligns costs perfectly with value consumed. OpenAI's own API could benefit from Zbeck type streaming payment models where developers pay second by second for compute rather than batched monthly bills. Use case four, AI agent subscriptions and dynamic pricing. An AI agent managing business operations subscribes to multiple SAAS services. Instead of fixed monthly fees, services charge based on actual usage with payment streaming in real time. During high usage periods, payments increase. During low usage, payments decrease. This dynamic pricing is only possible with continuous settlement infrastructure. Traditional subscriptions lock users into fixed costs regardless of actual value received. And use case five, cross-border AI commerce. An AI agent in Singapore purchases data from a provider in Brazil, computation from a service in Poland, and storage from infrastructure in Canada. All payments settle instantly in USDC via Zbeck. No currency conversion fees, no international wire delays, no correspondent banking intermediaries. Seamless global commerce that AI agents need to operate without geographic constraints. These use cases represent the future AI economy, and none of them work efficiently on ACP's centralized credit card rails. All of them work natively on Zbeck's decentralized micropayment streaming infrastructure. If you're still watching, comment AI to AI payments require blockchain. I wanna know who's recognizing that agent commerce fundamentally needs permissionless settlement infrastructure. Let me address the timeline for when AI economy transitions from centralized to decentralized payment infrastructure. OpenAI's ACP launched in October, 2025. This is phase one, rapid deployment using familiar infrastructure. Merchants can integrate quickly. Users understand credit card checkout. Regulatory compliance is straightforward because existing payments law applies. This phase lasts approximately two to three years through 2027 or 2028. During phase one, AI commerce grows from experimental to mainstream. Millions of transactions monthly become billions. More AI platforms beyond ChatGPT launch commerce features. Google, Perplexity, Anthropics, Claude, all implementing shopping capabilities. Merchants see revenue from AI-driven sales. Consumers get comfortable delegating purchasing to AI agents but the limitations become increasingly apparent. Transaction costs eat into merchant margins. Micropayments remain impossible. AI to AI transactions can't happen within walled gardens. Developers want programmability that credit card tokens can't provide. Phase two begins around 2027 through 2028. Hybrid infrastructure. Merchants continue accepting credit cards via ACP for traditional purchases but they also integrate blockchain payment options for micropayments and AI agent transactions. Zbeck and similar protocols become alternative payment rails alongside Stripe. AI agents gain the ability to choose payment methods based on transaction characteristics. 
Large purchases might still use credit cards. Microtransactions route through blockchain. This hybrid phase lasts two to three years as blockchain payment infrastructure matures and regulatory frameworks solidify. Phase three happens approximately 2030 through 2032. Blockchain becomes dominant for AI commerce. Credit cards remain for human initiated transactions where familiar checkout experiences matter. But AI agent transactions predominantly use blockchain rails because economics and functionality are superior. Merchants operating in the AI economy expect to receive stablecoin payments via smart contracts. AI platforms integrate blockchain natively rather than as an afterthought. Zbeck type continuous settlement becomes the standard for agent commerce. By phase three, the AI economy generates trillions in transaction volume annually. Even if only 10% routes through Zbeck infrastructure, that's hundreds of billions in micropayment streams, creating sustained demand for ZBCN tokens. This is the long game, not competing with Stripe in 2025, but positioning as the infrastructure that scales when AI commerce reaches maturity. This is Crypto Journal, and I want to leave you with this. OpenAI's agentic commerce protocol is phase one infrastructure for the AI economy. It enables rapid deployment using familiar credit card rails, but it's fundamentally constrained by centralization, high costs, settlement latency, lack of programmability, and geographic friction. These constraints prevent ACP from scaling to true AI economy requirements where agents execute billions of high velocity, high volume, low value, conditional, composable, and cosmopolitan transactions daily. ZBEX continuous settlement architecture solves every ACP limitation, decentralized and permissionless, near zero transaction costs enabling true micropayments, instant settlement without batch processing, programmable payment streams via smart contracts, global and borderless using USDC stablecoins. This is the infrastructure the mature AI economy needs, not what's convenient in 2025, what's necessary in 2030 when AI agents are autonomous economic actors transacting constantly. The opportunity for ZBCN token holders is recognizing infrastructure transitions before they're obvious. OpenAI building ACP validates that AI commerce is real and scaling. Their choice of centralized rails is pragmatic, short-term thinking. But as transaction volumes grow and use cases expand beyond simple shopping into complex AI to AI interactions, the infrastructure will need to migrate to blockchain. And Zbeck is building exactly the continuous settlement micropayment infrastructure that migration requires. For developers building AI agents, the question isn't whether to integrate payment capabilities, it's which payment rails to use. ACP works for shopping and chat GPT, but if you're building agents that need to transact autonomously with multiple services, micro pay content providers, stream payments for real-time resource consumption or operate across borders, you need blockchain infrastructure. And Zbeck provides the most advanced continuous settlement protocol in production today. If you found value in this AI economy payment infrastructure analysis, hit that like button and drop a comment telling me, do you think AI agent commerce will eventually migrate from centralized payment rails like Stripe to blockchain-based micropayments like Zbeck? Or will centralized solutions dominate long-term? Your perspectives help shape future content. OpenAI and Zbeck. Why the AI economy fits with token micropayments. Because AI agents transacting billions of times daily need infrastructure that credit cards fundamentally can't provide. Zbeck isn't competing with OpenAI. Zbeck is building the payment layer that OpenAI's AI economy will eventually require. See you in the next one.